Rogers 360 at one of my favorite places anywhere. This is the Mason Chapel on the south branch of the Asabo River. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We've got an angler down in the river fishing behind you right now. If you're looking at this camera, you can see in every direction around you. So take a piece around this the chapel behind me, which is up on a bank above the river. And uh, on the other side, you're going to be able to see right down into the south branch. A uh, little bit off color right now, but you can see right down into the water. And uh, it's just a beautiful stretch of river. Um, so this chapel, um, the land around here was donated by a guy named George Mason. He was the president of the Nash Car Company um, back uh, in the, uh, I think it was the 40s, 30s maybe. But um, he passed away in the late 1950s. He was one of the guys who was largely thought of as coming up with the idea for Trout Unlimited. But he passed away before Trout Unlimited was founded. Uh, but when he passed away, he donated a big chunk of land along the river here uh, to the state of Michigan with one condition that they build this chapel here, which is modeled after the chapel that's up at Hartwood Pines, if you've ever been there and seen their chapel. This is uh, modeled after that chapel. So um, let's walk inside the chapel. We'll give you a look inside and maybe get out of this wind a little bit. M72, you take M18 south from M72, turn right on the first road that you can, it's a dirt road, and you're going to go, oh, I think it's 3.8 miles down, you'll see a turn off to your right, that goes into a two track, head down there, and you're another couple of miles at least through this two track, and it's rough, so if you don't have a truck uh, or a car with a lot of clearance, um, you might have to kind of stop your way in and walk the rest of the way, if you've got a truck, usually won't sign you, you're going to probably get back. relative to the river. There's a nice stairway that goes down to the water. We'll walk down the stairs and get down on this dock here real quick. Hope this guy doesn't mind being on video. But if you're coming by river, just look for this big wooden dock. It uh, definitely stands out in an area where there's really no development at all. And all of a sudden you see this big wooden dock on the river. And here's the South Branch. And I mean, again, you've got 11 miles of nothing but beautiful fly water. Um, our traditional float the Friday of opening weekend we come through here in the boats and and uh, most years you've got at least some rising trout some insects hatching and that's the first bugs that we usually see each year and uh, so Friday I'll be most likely floating through here um, maybe with a couple other guys but we'll each be in our own boats because of the current restrictions in place but um, just an amazing spot so hopefully if you're looking for a spot to go 
or if you do end up in the grayling area this summer or sometime in the future, definitely worth a drive back in here or float down the river for a stop at the Mason Chapel.